G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm sitting here with Amy and with Kimberly and we're going to just take a little bit of time and minister to people uh, that are wonderful in my life. So I made a list um, of actually three lists uh, of people and we're going to just sit here this afternoon and minister to each one of of you. Uh, I just want to tell you you're valuable, you're special and you're um, you mean a lot to me, so that's that's why I put you on the list. So the first person I want to minister to uh, is Ori. And so Ori, I saw how the Lord is putting uh, His uh, anointing oil upon your life. Uh, I saw how the Lord is, is actually putting the crown of anointing uh, on you. Uh, and the Lord uh, gave me this word, from fear to rest. And you know, fear sometimes when we worry or we're concerned about lots of things and rest is where we absolutely, completely distrust in the Lord. All right, and so I just see that transition in life. God. Okay, Ari, the Lord says that He wants you to start building. He wants you to start moving. The Lord shows me how He is equipping you, how He is opening up a toolbox for you to grab and start to build and increase. Be blessed. Amen. Ari, God bless you. This next word is for Christopher. Christopher, the picture God showed me for you was a crown and a sword. And I just feel the Lord is really equipping you right now and giving you that kingly anointing. And I just feel, Christopher, that God is really strengthening you. I just feel like not only in the spirit, I, I, I actually saw you like at a gym or something. And I just saw how the Lord is really strengthening you, spirit, soul, and body. And there's a lot of people that you're going to mentor and just show how to be like Jesus, spirit, soul, and body. God loves you, Christopher. God bless you. Uh, Christopher, the, the Lord gave me the words, tie the knot uh, and make permanent. That's the two words that the Lord gave to me. And I saw how a window of blessing opened up above your life. God bless you, Christopher. All right, so the next person I want to minister to uh, is Elizabeth. Okay, so Elizabeth, uh, the Lord gave me two words. The first one is, do not waste time. And the second one was supernatural growth. And I really believe that the Lord says He's going to bring so much growth and new things into your life. You, you're going to be so busy, you're not going to have extra time to do the things that you used to do. And so you're going to have to prioritize and just make sure that every minute counts uh, uh, for your family and for the ministry that God has given to you and even with the finances. God bless you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the Lord says that He wants you to, to lift up your spiritual posture. And knowing that you have authority, the Lord says that, the Lord shows me how when you speak, that things really start to develop and grow or break down. So watch what you say, but have that posture of authority in the Lord. He gives us that authority and the Lord shows me how he is very, very prominent in your, in your life. So you have the ability to speak and, and things will happen. Be blessed. God bless you, Elizabeth. This next word is for Carrie. Carrie, the Lord loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was a waterfall of his glory. And I just feel the Lord is just pouring out his love over you and peace. I just feel there's so much peace that God is giving to you right now. And then I saw a picture of shoes and I feel God is going to bless you with brand new shoes and how you're going to walk in his peace. Just a promise to you. Literally, I feel like God is going to give you shoes. And then I also just feel how the Lord is saying to you, you are precious and I'm call I'm anointing you to call the door my daughter's beautiful too. I just feel there's a lot of young girls that you're going to really mentor and love and call beautiful because God calls them beautiful. God bless you, Kerry. Hey, Kerry, God bless you. So uh, what the Lord showed me is multiplication. And then I saw you have giftings, but those giftings can be used for multiple purposes. And I remember a long time ago, we would play this game dominoes. And then sometimes when you get a double, you can split up the, the legs uh, of your dominoes. And I saw how your giftings was flowing. And then there was multiple uses uh, for that uh, different legs of giftings in your life. So that's, that's, how, that's how I see, uh, saw it. Uh, Kerry, God loves you very much. God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Jason. Okay, so Jason, I saw a, a, a car. A, it's quite a, a nice looking car and it was riffing really nicely, but the car was not moving. Uh, and then the Lord gave me this word, uh, new move or get into motion. And then I saw how you got into the car, put it into gear and the car actually started moving. And I felt that the Lord says that he's going to do things in your life. Stuff is going to come into motion. You're going to see changes. You're going to see new things. Um, and so then I wrote here the words that I heard from God. And it was movement and change. God bless you. 
Jason, the Lord says that He trusts you to lead, that He is giving you that, that anointing, that covering, that voice to, to lead. The Lord shows me how you are in, the, in this boat and there are passengers and you are the one saying, let us, let us go that way, let us, let, us, let us go this way because you are so, so close to the Lord. And what I let you see, He speaks to you and instantly that is what comes out of your mouth. That is the direction that you, that you start to go. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Jason. God bless you. All right, so uh, Paul, uh, Paul, sorry, uh, Paul, what, what I saw, uh, I saw all of those founders of America uh, and they were all together and they were writing the Declaration of Independence. And then I heard the words when I was praying about you that the Lord says, um, write the Declaration of Independence. Uh, and I felt there's going to be major changes in your life. Uh, these major changes in your family and I actually saw a structure that you put together of how you can work together also with your sons and even other friends that the Lord brings in your life and so I felt where you've always done a lot of things by yourself you're going to do now more and more things together with other people God bless you Paul Amen um, Paul the picture God showed me for you the Lord says start with tents I saw um, how you how you got like so you know when Jericho crumbled and then they had to build up they had to build it up again and I just saw how you started like making tents and then it became buildings and, uh, and then all of, all of a sudden it became a city and I just feel the Lord says that there are a few things in your life that you're going to start small and it's going to grow so quickly uh, I just feel the Lord says that this is a time of new beginnings new growth new buildings new projects and I just feel how the Lord is really blessing you of land but also blessing you to be a builder of the kingdom of God God loves you and Paul God bless you Okay, awesome Paul God bless you he uh, loves you very much uh, so the next word is for Rainier uh, so Rainier I saw a lot of criticism and accusations coming your way and then I saw how that stops and how the Lord takes you he puts a crown on you he puts a rope of righteous on you, uh, righteousness on you uh, you are washed clean uh, by the blood of Jesus and, and there's silence there's just rest and, and I felt that uh, you don't have to fear all of that accusations that's coming against you will stop and you stepping into the peace of God. God bless you. Um, um, Asuni, the Lord says that His timing is perfect, and the Lord says how you must, how you, how you must go and speak to Him and say, Lord, what time is this? Is this a time of stillness, or is this a time of prayer and intercession? The Lord saying that I want you to start praying. I want you to start interceding. Um, so this time is a time of prayer for you right now, but go to the Lord and ask him, Lord, where do you want me in, in this time? Where do you position me? Be blessed. Hello, awesome. Rainier, God bless you. Um, so uh, I want to minister now to Anthony. Uh, so Anthony, the Lord gave me the word icebreaker. Uh, and I even saw one of those icebreaker boats. Uh, how it just opens up a new path. And so the Lord gave me this word pioneering new discovery uh, and then I saw how you and Leslie were holding hands and you were really coming into uh, unity together and the new doors that the Lord is opening up for you it's not going to be a door for you or a door for Leslie but it's going to be a door for the both of you together in unity God bless you uh, Anthony Amen God bless you Anthony okay the picture God showed me for you I, I saw a picture of how there was like a flood and then you know obviously when a lot of water comes then you got to like lift up the furniture higher like people would use bricks and, and stuff and, and or take the furniture out and I just feel that there was like a bit of a flood and a lot of stuff was happening but I just feel the Lord says everything that was stolen or that, that the enemy has washed away took taken away from your life I just feel the Lord is really giving it back to you but in gold I, I just feel the Lord is giving you a promise that everything that was taken away God is bringing back and it's gold it's so much better and I just feel the Lord says I am with you and I just feel the Lord says that I, I love you and I'm making all things new God loves Loves you, Anthony. God bless you. Okay. Anthony, God bless you. So next word is for Dion. Dion, I saw how you took a flag and you planted that flag. And that flag was who you are, what you're doing, what is your offering, what's your gifting. And I saw it planted and then I saw a garden growing around that flag. So it's established uh, its 
it's beautiful, uh, it's uh, attractive, it, it has a nice fragrance to it. Uh, and then I saw how the Lord uh, put a crown uh, of uh, joy on you. And the Lord says the season of sorrow is coming to an end and the season of joy is coming towards you. God bless you, Dion. Okay, um, Dion, I also saw a garden and as you go, like in the Garden of Eden, you just go and you walk with Jesus and then you get, um, you get wisdom from Him, you get knowledge from Him, you get comfort when you go and you walk with him the Lord says that if there's like a pathway around your house or a beautiful trail that you go to go and walk on that trail and vision and see in the spirit as you walk with Jesus it's sometimes easier when we have the environment so the Lord says go and walk with me and speak with me be blessed hey awesome uh, God bless you uh, Dion okay so uh, the next person I want to minister to is Joel okay so Joel um, uh, I I looked at you in the spirit and I saw how people around you is advising you to step into peace and to step into rest. Uh, and then what I saw, I saw that the Lord says, um, uh, what's in you is not peace and the rest, but what's in you is a big waterfall and a very strong river that's a current. All right? uh, and uh, I was um, seeing that waterfall, I, I think they talk about the Niagara Falls uh, and then you have, they have the big falls there in a um, uh, in, this, in the southern side there of uh, um, Zambia, uh, they got this massive falls and, and white river, uh, river raft thing that's, that's going on there. Uh, but it's so loud, you, you can almost not hear how loud it is. Uh, but in that river uh, is life, uh, it's full of fish. And I felt that the Lord says the river that's coming out of you is fast, uh, is full of life, it's rushing, it's loud. And so if you're going to fool yourself to say, my life is going to be all about peace uh, and quietness and rest. I just felt that's not your DNA. That's not uh, the, the blueprint that God has for your, has for your life. Uh, your life is supposed to be this thunderous river uh, with this massive waterfall with life and fish. God bless you. Okay, Mr. Joel, the Lord shows me how you have this backpack on and you have these like two sticks and you are summit, summiting up a mountain and how you look back and the Lord is just reminding you of how far you have come in your own spiritual journey with the Lord. And, and even though you help people so much, but the Lord is really speaking to you like, I want you to still continue to climb this mountain. And even though the Lord shows me how it's very vertical, it is hard, but the Lord says continue and press in your sticks put them in as strong as as possible press them in into the lord to pull yourself up and i feel like that's the lord saying that um get into his word that you can pull yourself closer to the lord knowing this is his word this is what he has spoken this is who he is be blessed hello awesome god bless you joel all right so uh, next word is for esther so esther i saw a page turning over uh, and the lord said to me new page uh, then I felt there's a lot of long-standing issues that is being resolved even in 2024 uh, stuff that you thought this is going to just be with us for the next five years I just see how the Lord just comes in intervenes and solves issues uh, and then uh, the Lord gave me um, spiritual leader for George and I felt that the Lord says you don't have to to feel like you have to be uh, this wife or this woman uh, that must be the spiritual leader that always uh, pray and try to get the family to be more spiritual. I felt that the Lord says that this great space for your husband, you're going to see how he's going to rise up and he's going to be the one that's going to take a spiritual leadership in your family. God bless you, Esther. Amen. Esther, the, Auntie Esther, the picture God showed me for you was I saw how you were on a mission to find diamonds and then I saw how you were carrying this wheelbarrow and it was like it was full of dirt and then it was like you were looking everywhere for the diamonds but actually you always had those diamonds in, in this wheelbarrow and I just feel how the Lord says that there's a lot of diamonds and blessings that I'm going I'm giving to you that is right in front of you that, that you're really going to see and I, I just feel the Lord is really going to reveal His love to you and peace to you and I just feel there's so many diamonds in your household that, and, and, and in your life that you're just going to discover and God's going to, to bring to you. I, I, just, I just feel there's a lot of beautiful things that God is bringing and I, I just feel like that's what God is right now doing in your life. God loves you, Auntie Esther. Family, it was wonderful for us to minister to you. Uh, uh, I want to encourage you, uh, write us a little comment, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you next time. God bless.